guys today i'm gonna show you how to make this crochet tote bag so i'm super happy to show you this today because this is one of the first patterns i've ever written um and it's a super trendy project so i'm sure you've seen it a lot on tiktok recently so to make this bag i use t-shirt yarn the yarn i use is from hooked um, you can get it either at the Hooked website or um, on Amazon. They also have it at Joann's, but they don't have all the color selection that the Hooked site has. Um, and I use about 900 grams or one kilogram of yarn. It really depends because sometimes the thickness of the yarn changes, so it really depends on... Um, the batch of yarn that you get but it's around those numbers I'll, i also use a 12 millimeter hook and i'll probably use around four stitch markers too so we're going to be working with both uh color yarns um it's really not that hard to work with two uh strains of yarn so i will start and do a slip knot to make a slip knot, I take the yarn and roll it over my two fingers in an X shape, like this. I'll put my finger underneath here and come grab this and pull. You're gonna put your hook through and you're gonna chain 15. So to chain you yarn over and you pull through your loop that's one yarn over pull through yarn over pull through like that until you have 15 chains on your hook Now that we have 15 chains on our hook, we're going to do single crochets um, all around. And if you're a beginner, I suggest you put the stitch markers where I'll be putting them. So whenever we start a row for single crochets, we always skip the first stitch. So you should put a stitch marker on the second one. but on the front loop not on the back loop so this is where we're going to do our last single crochet of the first row here and i'll also put one uh, before the last chain and you'll see why later so you should put these two stitch markers now we're going to do single crochets we're going to make 13 single crochets and on the last one we're gonna do an increase so in total we have 14 chains here where we're gonna do single crochets in but the last one is gonna be an increase so to do that you're gonna insert your hook in the second stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook that's one, put your hook through the next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, that's two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two,
so I've done 13 single crochets and before we continue if you're a beginner you should put a stitch marker in your first stitch so you know this is where your work is going to start and now we're going to increase in this last chain so we're going to put three single crochets in the same chain so insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two we're gonna do two more in the same hole here insert your hook in the same chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two that's two and insert your hook in the same hole yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and thanks to the stitch marker we put here we know that this is where um, we've got to put our next single crochet and now we have 13 more single crochets to make so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen but in this one we're going to do an increase so i'll see you guys when i'm done doing the 12 single crochet here and i'll increase with you so once again for a single crochet you insert your hook through the loop you yarn over you pull through yarn over and pull through now that i'm done with the 12 single crochets we're going to do an increase on the last loop here so we're going to do two single crochets in the same hole so put your hook through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and again one another one in the same hole so put your hook through the same loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so as of now you should have 30 stitches all around you should really put a stitch marker in the last stitch that you've done it's gonna be easier for you to know where to stop your single crochets now we're gonna join these two parts we're gonna do a slip stitch in the first stitch that we've made in row one so insert your hook through the two loops yarn over and pull through two and you're gonna chain one from now on we're not gonna increase anymore so it's gonna be very very easy we're going to do nine rows of single crochets so we're gonna crochet single crochets all around through these two loops so to start row two we're gonna insert our hook in the first stitch of the first row so in the same stitch that we've done the slip stitch in so you insert your hook you yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two we're gonna put a stitch marker on the first stitch that we've done so this is going to help you not make a mistake uh, which i've done as a beginner too is that i would do single crochets in the slip stitch or in the chain one so these two that don't count as stitches it's just to bring together the work so that's why it's important to put the slip the stitch markers so we're going to continue by inserting our hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two Okay, so I'm gonna do single crochets all around until I reach my last stitch here. So now I'm about to do the last stitch of row two. So I'm going to take off the stitch marker, insert the hook, 
yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. We're gonna put back the stitch marker. And we're gonna join these two parts. So now we know that we have to skip to skip these two and insert our hook in the first stitch of the second row. So you insert your hook, you yarn over and you pull through all the loops on your hook. Then you're going to chain one and you're going to repeat the exact same process for the next seven rows. So now we have two done and you're going to do seven more. So you're going to have a total of nine rows. So I'll show you uh, one last time how to start the rows. So you're going to insert your hook in the same hole that you've done the slip stitch in, which is the first stitch of your previous row. You're going to yarn over pull through and yarn over, pull through two loops. And you're going to do that all the way around your work. Okay, so I'm almost done with row nine. I'm going to do the last slip stitch here. So the next step is to figure out where we're going to place this extra uh, two rows to make the strap. So you're gonna lay your work flat like this um, and you're gonna look it from above. I always do five stitches for the strap. So this is the middle. So this is one. Since I want five, I'll have two from this side and, and two from this side. So in total, I have five. So this would be here, one, two, three, four, five. And this, this is how I like to do it. Um, but if you want to extend it, that's fine too. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And over on this side, the slip, the slip stitch doesn't count. So this would be the middle. So one, two. One stitch marker here and one, two. So we have five stitches here. So now that the stitch markers are placed, we're going to continue normally. So here we did the slip stitch for the ninth row. We're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch of the ninth row. So over here, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we have our stitch marker here. We're going to take it off do a slip stitch in that stitch there and now we're going to chain 30 to make the strap so chain this is the first chain and you're going to want to put a stitch marker not in the front here but in the back here. This is going to help you for the, our next step later on. So put your stitch marker here. So we've done one chain. We're going to do 29 more. Two. I'm now done doing the 30 chains. I'm going to put a stitch marker on the 30th chain. So turn your work and put it over here on the back of the chain. 
this is where we're supposed to connect our strap so we're going to take off the stitch marker and insert our hook through this stitch and make a single crochet do yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and now the strap is connected on both sides we're going to continue our single crochets until we reach this stitch marker so i'm taking off this stitch marker here insert my hook And now we're going to again chain 30. So I'll do a chain. And don't forget to put your stitch marker. Not in the front of the chain, but behind. Back here. So that was one chain. We're going to do 29 more. When you're done doing the 30 chains, you're going to want to put a stitch marker in the last chain. So this one, turn your work and put it and put it through. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to put it, we're going to take off this stitch marker. Put our hook through and do a single crochet. We're going to do two single crochets. And we're done with this row. So we're back at square one here. This is all of the slip stitches. So we're going to slip stitch our work. So insert your hook in the first stitch that we've made. Yarn over and pull through your loops and you're going to chain one. So here you have your two straps. Now we have one last thing to do. You're going to do two single crochets. And we're going to work on the back loops. We're going to do slip stitches in the back loops of the strap. So we're going to turn this and work on these back loops here instead of working on these we're going to work on these yes that's why we put a stitch marker here to know where uh, was the first one so we're going to take it off we're going to insert our hook through yarn over and pull through the loops on your hook so you're going to do that for the 30 chains of your strap. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through two. And you're going to start to create this little strap. Once again, put your hook through, yarn over and pull through two. I'll continue that and I'll see you guys when I reach my stitch marker. Okay, so here I've done 29 slip stitches. I have one left to make. So I'm going to take off this the stitch marker and I'm going to insert my hook. Yarn over and pull through two. 
so now you're supposed to be done with your 30 single crochets so now we're going to connect the strap to here so this is our first stitch here we're going to pass our hook through yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through two so now it is connected and we're going to continue doing single crochets until we, re we until we reach the next strap i have one more single crochet to do before i reach the strap and now we're going to do as we did a couple of minutes ago we're going to do slip stitches so i'm going to take off the stitch marker and insert my hook through here and do a slip stitch so this is our first slip stitch insert your hook through here yarn over pull through all the loops on your hook So this creates a very thick and sturdy um, strap so it's a really strong strap so i'm going to continue this until i reach my stitch marker over here okay so here i did 29 slip stitches i have one more to do i'm going to take off my stitch marker insert the hook yarn over and pull through two and we're almost done so now we're going to insert our hook over here and do a single crochet and we have two more single crochets until we're completely done so one Two. and we're gonna come and make a slip stitch on the first stitch of the row and pull some yarn And we're gonna come and pass this yarn through the first stitch of the row like this and you're gonna and you're gonna pull to tie it the last thing you're gonna do is make a knot and hide the, the little uh, extra yarn inside of the bag and here you have your little summer tote bag you can add a man magnetic button if you want to uh, that's totally up to you so i hope you enjoy making this bag and thank you so much for watching